Hi, this is Don Romans with FurnaceFilterTalk.com and today I wanted to talk to you about improving indoor air quality with your furnace filter. You know, your furnace filter can be used for more than just protecting your equipment. When maintaining your HVAC system, furnace filters are an essential part to keeping your equipment running efficiently. However, not all furnace filters are created equal and there are many different types and ratings to choose from. But beyond simply protecting your equipment, can your furnace filter improve the air quality in your home? The short answer is yes. High quality furnace filters can help remove dust, allergens, and other air pollutants, thus improving your home's indoor air quality. According to the EPA, indoor air can be up to five times more polluted than the outdoor air due to ventilation, inadequate air filtration, and chemicals and other pollutants in the home. So as the air is circulated through your filter, it's gonna collect and trap particles and it's gonna prevent them from circulating back into your home's air supply. The effectiveness of a filter is measured by the MERV, which is the minimum efficiency reporting value, which ranges in, in homes from uh, one to 13. <clears throat> there, there are some that are a little higher, but I wouldn't go above a 13 in your home. So, however, it's important to note that when you're using a high efficiency furnace filter, such as a MERV 13, a MERV 12 or 11, or, you know, the higher you go, it's going to, it could possibly impact the performance of your HVAC system because it can restrict the airflow because it has the tighter web in the, in the filter media. So, you know, you want to make sure that you're picking out, uh, filters that, uh, you know, fit what you need from your filtration standpoint. So if you have bad allergies, uh, things like that, you really gotta, you know, choose the one that's effective for you. And for instance, in my case, I don't have allergies, so I use a Merv 8. Uh, but the important part is changing the filter on a regular basis. You know, I change my filter, you know, every month. Uh, you could probably go two months on just about every filter I've ever tested would probably make it to two months, but it depends on everybody's household is going to be different. Uh, but you know, if you do it re on a regular basis, you know, you're going to be protected that the filters are designed to let the air flow through, capture the particles, and they're not going to damage your system. But if you try to go longer with them, then you run the risk of, of causing problems with your system. Some other things you can do to, to help improve your indoor air quality are things like ventilate your home by opening windows and doors using exhaust fans. Uh, control the humidity because high humidity levels can promote mold growth and other allergens. Uh, clean your home regularly and keep the dust off the surfaces is going to help in vacuuming on a regular basis. Uh, you know, so that's all going to help you with uh, improving your indoor air. So in conclusion, uh, improving your indoor air quality with furnace filters is crucial for creating a healthier environment in your home uh, and for protecting your HVAC equipment. So when you're choosing a filter, it's critical to find one to meet your needs without overly restricting airflow or putting extra strain on the system. Regularly changing your filter before it becomes too restrictive ensures that your HVAC system runs efficiently and your home's air quality is maintained you can enjoy a comfortable, healthy home for years by improving indoor air quality. And uh, you know, if you wanna learn more about what filter is best for you, I suggest you look at my uh, article that's the number one furnace filter for each MERV rating. There's also a video for that. So that, and that'll have a chart that will show you what the MERV ratings do. So you can help, you know, that's where you, your starting point to pick out which one it is, you know, that you need. And then you can go from there. And uh, please, as always, like and subscribe. It helps promote the channel. And I appreciate it. And make comments. I try to answer all the comments that people put in. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.